Hello! <laughs> Hello, we are here um, at the base with Champion Up North. I'm here with William Child. Hello. Um, you know, graphic designer, uh, model builder and things like that. Um, we're going to show you a, a little sneak peek of his stuff before we kind of get into it and ask him a few questions about how he does it and uh, what inspires him. When your eyes are replaced with a stare, we burning that grey while blazing a base in the snow. I'm not get lean, even if you leave me take to a chair. Okay, so we're back. Can you tell me uh, what inspired you to kind of get started in all this kind of thing? Um, well, in the model building, it was I don't know. I've always liked like stuff like the Armand Productions and the uh, and like Mackinnon and so on. There's all the model, uh, all the mm. mod mod model making and stuff like that. I liked Thunderbirds when I was a kid. I liked Definitely. all that kind of stuff, like the big, like miniature places exploding and stuff like that. But, mm. uh, yeah, it was. Um, I started with the model making in second year at uni. I think it was when we went to Barcelona and we had to do like a response to that and like. I did, saw. Yeah, yeah, it was um, like uh, the paper watchers. Yeah, paper watchers. Like, yeah, yeah. So it's just it was just kind of taking. That was a stills project, so I did it with like photos and miniature sets and, uh, and then stuff like that. Well. Yeah, yeah, um, and then. From there, I took that into my final merge project at uni, which did about Pablo Escobar, who was like a drug lord. Mm. Um, did that a kind of story. Yeah, did like a full like life story book of him uh, with all the stills, and then um, yeah, like an animated, uh, a short animated film about how his cocaine got from uh, Colombia into the United States. And yeah, it went down well. Uh, so I, I sent that around to a few like uh, few musicians. I sent it to uh, Matt from Verbal Contact, who. Um, who liked it and asked me if I wanted to do a video for a track they'd done with this uh, US artist, Left Lebra, and uh, yeah, took it from there, got, got the video you just saw, and, uh, and yeah, it's gone down well, it's, it's mm. been received pretty well. You also do things with um, like illustration, and you did you did a book with about the Wind and the Willis, yeah, well. yeah. a bit more satirical version. Yeah, yeah. Like. Um, yeah it's like a modernised version of, um, of the Wind and the Willows, because like, um, I, I went through it, it was one of, it was an, again, it was like a book I liked as a kid, um, and like the character of Toad is like a, it, it, he's out drink a driving and stuff. It, but, like this is in like a kids book even back then. He's like <laughs> out drink driving and crashing yeah. cars and running away from police and stuff like that. So I just kind of modernised it and uh, bought into bought into the modern era and just kind of got everyone blew involved, everything yeah. up about it. Like yeah, just kind of uh, exaggerated different about the story. But yeah, just I do quite a bit of illustration. I do uh, that's that's where I started really, mm. and then uh, it's where I, what I specialised in at uni. Well, do you, do you, um, what, what do you enjoy the most? What is the, what's the kind of thing that gets... At, at the moment, it's the animation and like the model making and the, the scene making and stuff like that and, uh, and making the puppets and like trying to get character into the puppets. So I think that's because it's new to me, but mm. I do love the illustration as well. I, 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 like, I, like, I love doing graphic design as well, but it's, I think it's illustration and, uh, and animation that at the moment I'm, I'm enjoying most because yeah. it's just what you can play around with most, really. You can do anything. You can make anything happen in an illustration. Mm. So, yeah, yeah. Would you ever do like... Uh, Stop motion, or do you more like yeah, yeah, and that's, like that? that's that's what I'm wanting to do. Like, uh, I'm moving into uh, into like different plastic types of anime. Yeah, plastic. Like I want to start playing with plastic. Scene. I've I've got some like a uh, porcelain to make like porcelain dolls. I'm, mm. uh, I'm gonna do like uh, wooden dolls. I'm gonna uh, and yeah, like say so, like I want to start playing with amateurs and stuff and get get like stop motion animation <coughs> stuff there. It's hard work, like so you see, yeah. You take, well, it takes a long time, yeah, especially yeah. With, like looking back to things like Ardman. Yeah, and yeah. It took, like, that's how that, many years yeah. doing like that's one the, film. Yeah, exactly. Like that's the kind of stuff I love. Like I'd, I'd love to get into something like that, and also one day work in an animation studio. Uh, mm. or, and but yeah, it's uh, just yeah, just keep going with it. Really, keep working all these different mediums. Uh, What's it like moving between different uh, genres of things? Like you know, you you did this the, like the kind of. The, the drug film of you know about the cocaine yeah. industry and then you did like we did music videos but how was it working with different artists from different um, places? I found them it, it, were, it were kind of interlinked because uh, f 
for the final project, you kind of, kind of saw a lot of people like slaving away about like they, they wanted to do projects about something, but they weren't necessarily doing it about something they were interested in. And like, mm. I, I've always liked like action films and stuff like that. And uh, I just wanted to do something that was a bit ridiculous, really. And mm. uh, so I kind of took that as an interest and uh, I just kind of I wanted to make my own little action film and stuff like that. So, um, mm. but then thankfully, like. I can't, I'm really into hip hop and like I got uh, yeah. like I spot like like I said I sent it to Matter out of verbal contact and yeah well I saw that I saw yeah. little Matter's little uh, yeah yeah <laughs> uh, they're, like they they kind of um, they just they kind of liked what I liked mm. at, the, at the end of the day it's, it's just look more than anything but it it just so happens that the things I like I like to make it seems that like a few people in like to see hip-hop industry or like, like, like us yeah, really yeah, so. I was wondering do you have like have you taken your stuff to different galleries um, and different places to like show them yeah well I, I um, did. Escobar film um, got screened at the Up North Film Night of, uh, mm-hmm. in January, I think it was, and then um, I'm putting some. Uh, I'm speaking to uh, you know Jamal Edwards at, of S- SBTV. Yeah. Here. Um, hopefully, going to put the Escobar film out through that as well. Um, okay. I've sent him it, like he's going to put a trailer up at some point for that. Because um, I know people like might have done that. SBTV yeah, yeah. Before, so yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it was lucky, yeah. But no, well, I just sent it to. I sent the Escobar film to him uh, when I'd done it, and he liked it and said he wanted to put it out. But <clears> yeah, he's it, it, it's been brilliant. Really, he's like he's trying to put me in contact with all these people. And he's trying to. Uh, he's saying that he, he wants me to release work through like a, a series of work through a new channel that he's releasing through SBTV. So what, just yeah, like an cool. animated version? Yeah, well, I'm hoping to do like um, you know, a grand dot come free about the streets. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm hoping to do like a kind of an animated, yeah, so like Anim- version of the full album, like cause it's like a concept album and it's like a story. So yeah. yeah. Well, what kind of things? I know you say like in terms of film, what influenced you, but like in terms of like graphics and things like that, the illustration that comes yeah. through. What? Um, yeah. Well, that definitely does because like, um, do you know like you know Ralph Steadman who did? Um, he's done like. Uh, have you ever seen the illustrations for? Um, what's it called now? Um, F- uh, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Um, and like he did like yeah, uh, Animal yeah. Farm and like they're all yeah, real yeah, creepy yeah. kind of trippy illustrations mm. like and David Hughes as well like the way they like uh, put so much character into the yeah. illustrations like they, you can see that they've got feeling like like mm. they look so much like at the same time they look so much like the character but they look nothing like so like kind of real, yeah. Yeah, yeah but like realistic yeah yeah, yeah but just like, like yeah. yeah the way they like twist things but keep it so tight at the same time it's it, that's that's what i want to do eventually but like yeah uh, well like yeah. i said like i had a look i had a look at the stuff you you did and like and what's like on your on your site and yeah. um like it's really really cool i, I definitely liked and you've got the you've got the full window and willis book like in the yeah, yeah. illustration thing yeah like. yeah well I've, i need to take photos of the actual book itself because there's more spreads than that are on i know the i wanted like yeah, literally yeah. when I, I was looking at it i wanted to see loads more like yeah, it's yeah. um it's something that really kind of interested me yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. Ah, well, it's, I'll get it. I need to get, I need to get it all. <laughs> get it out, so, get it yeah, published, yeah, is what yeah, I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll be sure to send it over to you. But yeah, I want to do more things like that. Like, I've been, um, like, do you know, like, the Grim Tales, the Grim. Yeah, like, uh, what, you mean, like, tales Brothers Grim kind yeah, of thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, like, I've, I've been wanting to do, like, a um, modern. Yeah, kind of like modern twisted versions of that. And, like. Well, the originals are pretty twisted. Yeah, yeah, anyway. yeah. Like, uh, and, like, uh, just, like, put, like, an adult spin on, like, kids' fairy tales and stuff like that. And, like, like a kind of yeah, modern, like, yeah, kind of a modern, modernized version of it. Yeah, yeah, but. definitely. Well, do you think they have anything like that in, like, in terms of modern stories that they could, you could, you know, like, do, or do you think they've already t- kind of toned that down for like modern audiences? It seems well, um, yeah, because like, you watch, like, when, I seem to remember when I were a kid. Like, do you remember Jeopardy? That was on TV yeah. when, when we were kids. Like that, that was <laughs> twisted. That broke. I mean, it was scary as, but. Uh, yeah. But like, then like, demon in my seat threw me out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, and then not that I watch a lot of C C B C C B B C. Uh, but like, there's like all the programs now look a lot softer. And it's a lot like, mm. uh, it's a lot more led towards like teaching kids morals and stuff like that. Mm. But yeah, I'd like to bring back a more twisted thing. Bring back a rougher side. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, like I said, it. Um, yeah, well, thank you for like representing us today. Um, no, no problem. Thanks for having me. Like, yeah, chat, like, literally, like it's like champion up north. You, like yeah. you're representing Leeds. You've like, yeah, born yeah. and bred in Leeds. Yeah. Um, it's been a pleasure um, for like to, to be interviewed yeah. today. Right. Great to um, I hope you've enjoyed the film. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you very much. Thanks for a lot. Job. Cheers. Yeah. Right, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks.
gone down on a bit of full state of affairs When it rises and replaces with a stairway Running that grave while blazing a base in the snow I'm like, get leave